So don't you hate it when you're walking through the house or maybe you're out in the yard and you walk through a spider web? Oh my god, I walk through a spider web like, yeah, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, that's what happens when I walk through a spider web. Because I'm terrified of spiders. Spiders, snakes, and rats. There you go. So you throw one of those on me, I'm probably going to freak out. So in light of my least favorite favorite thing, I'm going to make giant spiders. So... <laughs> My luck with umbrellas are usually those cheap ones you buy at the gas station because you're like, oh my god, I need an umbrella. Yeah. And they, you open it up and it almost takes out your eye. But regardless, they look like kind of like spider legs. So it's kind of creepy. Which made me think, oh, why not make a spider using this? So I'm going to actually just take the pole off here and then I'm going to take off the umbrella. Ooh, look, it already looks like spider legs. Look at that, isn't that gross? Look how it closes. I mean, that's kind of what they do. Creepy. Well, you see, I've already I just cut off the pole using just some wire cutters. Just because the, um, the metal's real thin, it'll actually cut real easily. And so you want to turn it upside down like this, so it looks like he's crawling. And we're actually going to spray paint the legs black. So move that aside. So get enough of the fabric from the umbrella, mine happened to be black, the color of a spider, and wrap it like so, and you want a slightly bigger ball, styrofoam ball, and a small one for its head. And you're just going to wrap it real tight, and you're just going to take some floral wire and just tie that there. Okay, once you get your spider legs painted, it's time to put his abdomen and head on. So I've actually wired the, um, the fabric around a ball and I'm going to use the excess wire and I'm just going to simply wire it to the side of his legs. 